Hey guys, that my gamer back here for the video guys today We're gonna talk about one thing one thing only how to invest in mutt 21 and yes my, What I'm about to tell you you can do right now Not at the moment this upcoming Thursday this Thursday. We're gonna have Superstar MVPs in the game so what does that mean guys well let's go ahead and look at sets and again i'm gonna go ahead and give you a those three different types of investments a quick payoff sniping number two is a short-term investment okay that's like what i'm about to show you and then long-term investments power-ups so you have power-ups you have uh sniping as a short and a long term let's talk about the medium term investments so let's go ahead and go to sets real fast i'm going to show you guys you can do this right now and i'm going to give you some other ideas when new sets will come out and i'm going to show you the same concept so superstar mvps right here right when i went ahead and completed this i completed this last thursday i got lamar jackson you see my squad i went ahead and completed this and i spent sixty-eight thousand coins for tower locket i spent 70k for travis white I spent about roughly, I think it was 60k for uh, Mike Wigwinchy and then 60k for Preston Smith. Let's look at, oh wow, his price skyrocketed. That's plus 40,000 coins than I spent. Okay, I spent 70k on him. 25k plus, wow, what? what's happening right now? Okay, and I 25k there. I, I'm so confused right now. What is happening? And finally, 25K. Why did these prices of these cards go up is a question. And it's going to happen with future promo. We'll talk about in a second. The price of these cards went up, guys. One reason, one reason only. People aren't opening up these MVP packs other than the day they get released with the new players. So the second last Thursday hit and these release in the game, people pull those MVP packs. And guess what? price of these cards went down how do you make an investment this is not just for this promo this is for future promos i'll talk about in a second but you can if you would have bought five tile lockets for seventy-eight thousand coins or 70 you know seventy thousand coins you would have made 100k profit just like that doing absolutely nothing and you might be like oh this is just a weird coincidence you know price went up that's not true. I've talked about this last year, guys. I'll talk about it this year. Team of the Week is the best promo to make coins off of. I'm saying it right now. There's other promos. A lot of people be like, oh, no, this promo, this promo. No. Team of the Week is the best promo to make coins off of. And the reason why is because of the fact that these cards, a lot of these cards are going ahead and they go for cheap. Because during the weekend, people maybe, oh, obviously, Team of the Week comes out on Monday. But, oh, I think it's Tuesday because of Monday Night Football now. Whatever. Now, beside the point. Those cards that go ahead and go, release into the set on Tuesday, right? Their prices are cheap. People pull packs for them, right? The weekends come around. People open up a crap ton of packs. They pull the Team of the Week cards. They go ahead and flood the market. They flood the market with all these Team of the Week cards. All these cards in the market. The prices go down. They're at the bare minimum. What you want to do in those situations, go to some of these sets, you know? When Preston Smith, let's say, let's, let's say this was a team of the week, okay? Hypothetically, team of the week set, right? Team of the week set, right? Okay. So Preston Smith, let's say currently he's like, I don't know, 20,000 coins, right? And you're like, wow, that's crazy. But, you know, I mean, he's only, he's 20,000 coins. How am I going to invest in that? Because the reason why is because you know, after the weekend's over, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Those week weekdays, right? People are gonna go ahead and go back to work. People are gonna go back to school. Not many people are gonna as many people are gonna play on the weekdays as they do on the weekends. What that means is the price of this card will go up. Less people opening up packs means more people going or less people going and posting this card on the auction block. Now, that does not bear the truth about players who want to complete this set. Because even though, yes, there are less people opening up packs, there's still, there's gonna be more people who are going ahead and completing this set because of the fact that those people playing most likely are hardcore, dedicated Madden players, and they wanna go ahead and complete these sets. If they wanna go ahead and complete these sets, they have to buy your card. What that means is supply goes down, demand goes up, 
I love investing. I'm just saying that now. That's investing. Investing is investing in something that is a low price, knowing the supply will go down and the demand will go up. And as long as that happens, which again, with this MVP set, we see it right in front of your eyes. We see this happening, the same concept that will happen and is going to happen with the Team of the Week sets. And we're going to see the same concept probably, um, I want to say legend sets maybe i i i have been trying over the years over the last four years i have studied legend sets and i have not been able to see a common principle they go up a little bit from the weekends to the weekdays but not enough for it to be like okay let's invest right they don't go that much now i'm gonna go ahead and now talk about a different subject on the fact of the not these mvp sets these mvp sets i uh, you can see right here the price going up but a lot of times the players I target personally in these team of the week sets, which will come out next week uh, with the new promo coming out, you know, once and no, two weeks from now when the NFL season kicks off is that I like to target the lowest overall players. And a lot of times they go for maybe two, three thousand up to seven thousand coins. And the reason why is because of an idea of low risk, high reward. What I mean by that is if you go all in, let's say, and I'm going to completely crap on my whole entire concept of Tyler Lockett here, right? But it is important. You can do this. You can go high risk, high reward. That's possible. I don't recommend doing it all the time, but there were times I've done it before. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Madden 16, where I invested 6 million coins in the elite badges and guess what happened when i invested in those elite badges they skyrocketed they went crazy up in price i bought them at 30k they went up to 90k okay that was a high risk i spent 5 million coins i could have lost 5 million coins i did another investment in madden 18 all full investment in richard sherman uh people know about that who've been following this channel but anyway though as i was saying though those players you know that went ahead and sky i mean those badges went ahead and skyrocketed it was a high risk high reward awesome i like low risk high reward i just like it personally so what that means is that the cards that go for 2500 coins and you know again because this weekend they're low they're probably gonna go up to five six seven k during a week that's going to be about a 4k profit right so let's say for example you know i don't know let's say i'm just going to do a hypothetical here actually you know let's not do 25 let's say the one cause are like 7k on the your weekends and they go up to 15k during the week right so like that just like that that's about a 7k profit after tax right you buy 25 of them you make 200 about 175,000 coins almost 200,000 coins that's a low risk because let's say for example you know during the week they don't go up they don't go up that much let's say they go up to like 70 let's go up to, they go 8200 coins right they're gonna go up obviously they go 8200 coins right times that um so you're gonna spend roughly about 7500 times 25 187,000 coins okay and again let's say they go up to 8200 coins or 8800 coins right and you times that by 25 you're going to go ahead and make back after tax and everything 32,000 coins i thought you're gonna um not yeah you're gonna make 32,000 coins i know i did the math incorrectly there it's gonna be a 32 coin a thousand coin difference okay so for example you're gonna spend 175,000 coins and you get back 220 so you're gonna make about a 30k profit right that's just a small scale profit right so the reason why, again, like I say, that's a low risk is because if it only goes up a little bit, okay, whatever, you, you know, I made back 32,000 coins. But if it goes up to, fi oh, not 15, but 12,000 coins, right? Now you're talking about 120K profit. And again, guys, the concept repeats itself for a lot of different sets in the game. I will be talking about different sets on what to invest in. I'm not going to make this video 30 minutes long. But guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe button. Two videos on screen right now. I kind of my encode a second channel and Hall Games. Oh, uh, sorry. Subscribe in the middle. I do have a second channel called Hall Games YT where I upload daily Madden content. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers over there. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Tommy. Peace out, guys.